Thank you for the sound and vision check, Jeannie. <clears throat> I'd like to welcome everybody this Friday morning and it's a lovely sunny morning in Blackpool here in UK so just welcome everybody this morning and welcome those that are logged in and those that are not logged in this morning we'll begin this morning with our lighted candle we have a candle lit for global peace and interspiritual unity in the name of our beloved Father Mother God who creates life in the name of the risen cosmic Christ who loves life. In the name of the spirit who is the fire of life. In the name of Gaia who is the earth mother that nurtures the creation of all life. In the name of all faith traditions who are the beloved sons and daughters of the divine life. We celebrate our spiritual diversity by honouring the supreme in all life. And we say this morning be still and aware of God's presence within and without. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and now we'll begin with the prologue to the Friday morning communions. I enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly father and earthly mother and great masters, reverence to the holy, pure and saving teachings, reverence to the brotherhood of the elect. Friday morning we commune with the angel of air saying, angel of air enter my lungs and give the air of life to my whole body. As you say this you contemplate the atmosphere around you as you connect with the rhythm of your breathing. So we just think of the angel of air and we just thank the Lord for our life and our breath this morning. And we thank the Lord for yet another day. And I'd like to say the prayer of protection. In the name of the risen cosmic Christ, I draw bloodline by faith around the Teyu community this morning around light workers everywhere around our health our finance our homes our partners excuse me our families our life's work and our friends i draw a bloodline by faith knowing that there is power wondrous power in the precious blood of the risen cosmic christ and neither satan nor any of his co-workers or dark energies or entities can ever cross such a bloodline amen Now let's just at the beginning of the day, let's stop and maybe we've got something worrying us this morning. Maybe we've had a hard week. Uh, we just think, you know, maybe we're worried about someone. We just bring all our worries to the Lord this morning. And all our struggles, we bring them to the Lord this morning. And we say, in the comfort of your love, I pour out to you, my Saviour, the memories that haunt me the anxieties that perplex me, the fears that stifle me, the sickness that prevails upon me, the frustration of all the pain that weaves about within me. Lord, help me to see your peace in my turmoil, your compassion in my sorrow, your forgiveness in my weakness, your love in my need. Touch us, O oh Lord, this morning with your healing power and with your strength so that we may be able to return to you, children of God, whole, perfect and complete. Amen. And now a thanksgiving and request for help. Psalm 40. <clears throat> I waited, I waited for the Lord. He stooped down to me and he heard my cry. He drew me from the deadly pit, from the miry clay. He set my feet upon a rock and made my footsteps firm. He put a new song into my mouth, praise of our God. Many shall see and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Happy is the man who has trusted in the Lord and not gone over to rebels who follow false gods. 
How many, O oh Lord, my God, are the wonders and designs that you have worked for us? You have no equal. Should I proclaim and speak them, they are more than I can tell. You do not ask for sacrifice and offering, but an open ear. You do not ask for holocausts and victims, but instead, here am I. In the scroll of the book it stands written that I should do your will. My God, I delight in your, in, in your law in the depth of my heart. Your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not sealed, and you know it, O Lord. I have not hidden your justice in my heart, but declared your faithful help. I have not hidden your love and your truth from the great assembly. O Lord, you will not withhold your compassion from me. Your merciful love and your truth will always guard me. For I am beset with, with evils too many to be counted. My sins have fallen upon me and my sight fails me. They are more than the hairs of my head and my heart sinks. O oh Lord, come to my rescue. O oh Lord, come to my aid. O oh, let there be rejoicing and gladness for all who seek you. Let them ever say the Lord is great who love your saving help. As for me, wretched and poor, the Lord thinks of me. You are my rescuer, my help, O oh God. Do not delay. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Now a scripture reading from Isaiah. O oh, come to the waters, all who are thirsty. Though you have no money, come. Buy wheat and corn without money, and eat at no cost wine and milk. Now we come to the Benedictus, the Canticle of Zachariah. And if you want to join in with me, you can join in. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a mighty saviour in the house of David his servant, as he has promised from the lips of holy men, those who as prophets from of old, a saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our enemies all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his way before him, to make known to his people their salvation through the forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like a dawn from on high. He will give light to those who are in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the new way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And now we come to intercessions this morning. And I'd just like to share a few from the book this morning. Our suffering brings acceptance, acceptance brings hope, and our hope will not deceive us. For the Spirit has been poured into our hearts. It is through that same Spirit that we pray, Lord, stay with us, stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Help us to realise that our troubles are slight and short-lived. They are nothing compared with the joy that we shall have when we reach our home with you. Come to the lonely and the unloved, those without friends. Show them your love today and help them to care for their brothers and sisters in need. Take away our pride, temper, our anger. May we, may we follow you in your gentleness. May you make us humble of heart this day and every day that we grace this beautiful world. Give us all the fullness of your Holy Spirit of sonship. Make our, make our love for each, each other generous and sincere in sharing Christ's love and light to those who call on us for help.
And now we come to intercessions. And we pray this morning, Heavenly Father, Earthly Mother God, we pray this morning for the Teyu community, for all its members, past and present. And we pray for all the mighty companions this morning. And we just pray that the vision of the Teyu community will grow uh, and that uh, people will come and join us. We pray that people will be drawn to come and join us. And we pray this morning for, we pray with Brother Sean, holding all here and trusting that God's love will touch the young man called Adrian who is struggling with his faith issues. We pray for Adrian and we ask Lord that you will touch him and that he will know your presence and that he will know that you are with him. You will just give him that, that miracle that he needs. And we pray today also for all Jeannie's requests for all those on our list today. And we pray this morning also for world peace. And we pray for Nepal. We pray for all those in Nepal and all those struggling uh, after the earthquake. And we pray that they will get the help that they need. And we just pray that uh, the help that will get through to them and that it won't be held up, that people will that they will get through, that the, the authorities will get through with the help that's needed. And we pray for the boat people. We just pray, we just pray for the boat people. And we pray that they will be accepted into countries and that they will be taken care of. And we pray uh, for all the members of Heart and Soul Prayer Partners for Peace. And I pray this morning for all those on Doves for Peace and all those on the prayer channel. We pray for everyone that comes and joins us this morning. We pray for all those that are not logged in this morning. We just ask a blessing upon them today. And I pray for Jeannie and for Brother Sean this morning. And we ask for Brother Sean for health and strength. And we ask for Jeannie and for our families. We just pray for our families this morning. We just ask a blessing upon them. And I pray this morning for Brother Rob and I pray also for Sister Carol in Kent with emphysemia. We pray for Sister Karen in North Carolina. We pray for Elsie in Ebden Bridge. And we pray uh, for Lindsay. And we pray for Elaine and Laura. And we, we think of Anna and Keith Peasley. And we think of all those presenters that come on Doves for Peace. And we just pray, excuse me, a blessing upon them. And we pray, Lord, I pray for Sister Teresa, Manchester. And I also pray for Miriam, New Zealand. We pray for Miriam. And I pray for Eleanor and Elizabeth today. We just ask that Eleanor and Elizabeth uh, will have the strength to keep continuing on and that you will just surround them with your love and your strength at this time. So I also pray for Pam and Derek, uh, some friends of ours in Yorkshire, uh, and we pray for Pam that they will uh, give her the right treatment for her legs and that this swelling will go down and that she'll be able to walk again. And we pray uh, for, for Derek. We just ask that, uh, that he will be able to support Pam and that you will give him strength and that he, he, won't, uh, he won't worry too much because he's very much of a very worrier, is Derek. So we just pray for Derek, uh, Derek and Pam today. And I thank you, Lord, that you are answering prayer there because the swelling in Pam's legs is going down. They've changed the tablets and it's going down. So we do thank you for that, Lord. And I'd like to, we just stop for a few moments. Lord. Oh, um, uh, Jeannie says, uh, for myself and for, for my family, I pray for Sarah and Beth. And I thank you that things seem a little bit better between them this week. And also Gina's request for Barbara this morning. We pray for Barbara. And we stop for a few moments now. And we just bring all those people that we're burdened for. I have my little list here and we're just going to pray for those people quietly in the quietness of our hearts right now.
So we just bring these people to you, Lord. These people that we are burdened for, Lord, we bring them to you and we give it up. We just give our prayers up to you, Lord. Or anything that may be troubling us right now, we just give it up to you, Lord. I bring James and I just pray that he'll, he'll, have, uh, he'll be able to do this new job and that everything will work out for him, Lord. And I just thank you that he's been given a shift next week. We just thank you for answered prayer. And we just bring these prayers and these requests to you, Lord, right now. And we hand them over. And we let go and let God. And we say thank you, Lord, that you do answer prayer. Thank you. I pray for all those who have passed away who are close to us. We pray that they may rest in peace. For all those in troubled places in the world, we pray for peace, that peace will come to this world. And we pray for unity of all faiths. We pray uh, that people will come together and, and that instead of, instead of using religion to keep people apart, we pray that people will be drawn together in unity and that there will be more interfaith uh, ministries. And we pray also for those suffering with Ebola uh, and with serious illnesses and serious diseases and all those suffering from terminal cancer. And we pray for all those that have nobody to pray for them today. And I also pray this morning for our pets. And we just ask a blessing upon our pets. Our Ch Chiki and Toby are quiet this morning. They're, 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 they're being quiet. And we just thank you for our pets and thank you for the wonderful love that they give us. And we just thank you. And I pray this morning for a safe journey to Brother Sean's today. And it'd be lovely to see Brother Sean today. So we just ask a blessing upon the day today. And now we say the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. Heavenly Father, earthly Mother God, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation today, Lord, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And now I say the prayer to the Holy Spirit. We just ask that the Holy Spirit fall on us afresh and anew and draw us closer to God with it, it, as we as we go through our day may the holy spirit remind us of and draw us closer to god we pray breathe on us breath of god fill our hearts with life anew that we may love what thou dost love and do what thou wouldst do touch our lives lord that we might see you in everything that lives and moves and as it's been from you this day empower us lord to live in the present moment seeking only your love and light. Amen. And I just thank you for being with us today. And we thank the Lord for all the prayers that get answered. And we thank you for the fellowship of prayer. We thank you for the fellowship of prayer, Lord, today. So we'll draw to a close this morning with the blessing. We'll say the blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky, on those we love this day, on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother, son and sister moon be in our hearts now and forever. Amen. And we blow out the candle and send love, light, peace, and blessing to all those troubled places in the world and we blow it love to one another amen
So I say blessings and peace everyone and have a great day and I hope it's as nice where you are today. It's a lovely day. I think it might be a bit chilly though. So uh, uh, just um, enjoy the day today. Blessings and peace everyone.